back, we're going to be reacting to The Rock talks his return to the WWE ring and the outrage around Cody Rhodes. It's the Pat, Mac Pat McAfee show, and we're going to check out his response to all this stuff. Um, yes, I have seen the, um, the press conference. It was crazy. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if I did a video about it or not, but it was crazy. Um, I just watched Raw when, um, Cody and Seth Rollins basically teamed up, so, uh, so, um, yeah, I'm guessing we're just gonna get a tag match at Elimination Chamber, uh, which is gonna be cool. Um, Cody did play a little bit of this segment on Raw, which has made me, which made me want to react to it, so that's what we're about to do. Let's have on people talking about you being back especially for wrestlemania part of this press conference yeah you've always been in shape so i think us as wrestling fans have never been like well the rock's not in shape that's why he's not coming back into the ring is it schedule is it a point of your life is it a reflection point where you're like i need to go back home and prove some stuff to myself and to everything or why do you think now is the time to be back in wrestling as big as you are really with the good. wwe um a few things though you you, you talk about uh getting in shape and ring shape as you guys know football players like man it's it, whatever it is the sport that you do you do it you love it you leave it it's tough to come back to it right if you guys had to put the pads back on lace the cleats up put the helmet back on yes and roll it's tough to do in yes. the world of pro wrestling i haven't done that in a very long time so uh when i do go back to the ring at wrestlemania the most important thing is a training camp which has already started i have multiple rings set up over in hawaii i have a ring set up uh on the west coast and we're, we're full on in camp how do you feel uh hurting <laughs> the body's hurting because it's hard it's hard to adjust back but in a way it's like riding a bike like i was very lucky in my career that i was somewhat of a ring general and knowing the ring and where to go and where to be at certain times uh when i needed to but the training camp part of it is hard because you could work out on the weights you could do all the stuff that you, you know you, you want to do mm -hmm. but until you go back in the ring and you take those falls, those slams, those suplexes, things like that. There's nothing like it. I was. I assume you're filming your entire training camp right now. We're filming it, brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But by the way, to answer your question, it's an important one on why. Yeah. Why, dude? I love it, and that's why I don't have to go back. They're about to do the right documentary since they film the whole thing. My career, but I they love to do a documentary do. on love for WWE there, and I love pro wrestling. It's who I am. It's what I was born to do and i was born in this business but also i definitely don't i definitely think they're gonna the set up roman rock versus ago, um said, I'm the head rock of the versus table, roman the head of at either summer Slam or backlash you, that's when our story began so it's converging now it's converging to wrestlemania i understand the passion uh which we are going to address and we'll get to today we could even get to right now but at the end of the day especially okay, since they recorded the it okay, let's come from this d butt attitude era Okay. Yeah. AJ's attitude error. That's probably Tom gonna be his last bit later, match. Tone they're gonna record the whole error, thing. Gonna okay. They're not the ones Roman. though that are filling the arenas his right now. Currently. Match. They're the ones that watch from outside. Yeah. And from being back in with Raw, it's like the arena. Cody wrote, "Let's go." This guy's put this company on his back. But from the people who've been watching wrestling for like, let's say, 20 years or whatever, it's like, wait a second, this is our generation's guy yes. now coming. But you're representing yeah. like mm -hmm. our. This feels like a generational conversation that's taking place between two iconic wrestling fans. Yeah. Obviously, the Rhodes family, agree with and obviously, your guys' bloodline is huge. Yeah. Did you expect the reaction to be what it was when we haven't even made anything official? Nothing's even been made official. Nothing's official. Nothing has no. been made official. <laughs> no, nothing has been deemed this or that, or a story isn't being in. But like, did you expect the reaction whenever you came back to be what it was, or do was it kind of uh, kind of came out of nowhere? With regards to WrestleMania, Rock and Roman. Together, yes. With uh, Cody Rhodes. With, with, with Cody here. Yes. Uh, I expected it. We expected it because it's right there. Again, you go back and again you like. And to that's think, how you hey, know. I my finger on the pulse. We all try. Because to the people was wondering if what the fans um, want if that was part saying. of the script or not. I feel like he just confirmed it in that little know, moment. In sports and entertainment and anywhere, what a girl. I feel like they they planned that whole thing because they know why it would make no sense for them to have Cody win. 
in the Royal Rumble, and then out of nowhere just have the Rock out and take the whole. from there. So then what was the point of the Royal Rumble? So I feel like that was the whole. It's part of the whole. Didn't expect it. But here's part of the whole script about this is. You have, and I, by the way, I've known Cody for a long time. He's a buddy of mine. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, and my old man, soul man, Rocky Johnson, they were boys. They tag teamed together down in Florida. We used to go over to the Rhodes house a lot all the time when I was growing up. And so we're tight in that way. I love Cody. I love his passionate fans. Then there's the other passionate uh -huh. fans yeah. of Cody. Yep. And they're called the, uh, the what's that? To, oh, Cody Crybabies. Yeah. Oh, that's what they're okay, called. all right. Okay, yeah. got it. I didn't, I didn't know the name that was coming. It was the Cody Crybabies, yeah, okay. and these are grown-ass men. And uh, Cody got to finish his story. He got to finish yes. his story right now. It's like, wait a second, hold on. Hey, Dad, you want to go outside and play catch with me? Not now. Cody's done. And I'm upset. The wife comes in. Hey, honey, do you want to go have sex? Not now. Cody's got to finish his story. At the end he of the day. He <laughs> Look, you got the Cody crybabies, and you have the Cody fans, and then you have Cody himself, and there's a clear distinction between the three. But The Rock says this, those Cody crybabies, the ones, for every 10 tweets, they're shoving a chicken McNugget in their mouth. <laughs> for every 20 tweets, they're shoving two McNuggets up their ass. What? The Rock says this, all you got to do is sit back, know your role, shut your mouth, and enjoy the ride that The Rock is going to take your candy asses on. And so that's on a bloodline. That, hashtag shut your bitch asses up. Hashtag Cody crybabies. No, yeah. yeah. hashtag that's on a Okay. So, <laughs> that's the fun part yes that's go of what we do yeah, that's yeah. wrestling it's pro wrestling that's wwe and it's awesome and i can't wait for uh for this afternoon yes. in mobile. yeah there's so much i mean uh <laughs> Man, that felt good. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Did it feel, yeah, yeah, it felt good. I did. That, that, you're talking about the... By the way, your eyes changed. It's like there was a shift in your eyes. You could feel yeah. the shift in the room change. Yeah. Right? The air change in the room when so, it went in that direction. So that was... We grew up on that, though. Yeah. So, like, uh, obviously, we still use gifts from those days. Your uh, shut up, bitch, is oh. uh, one of the greatest <laughs> responses of any tweet, pretty much, that yep. you kind of want to have it. Uh, do you miss that? Do you miss getting out and... Because that's a character, obviously. Now, and you can't do that in real life, what you just did there. You can do it in wrestling, though. You can go up to an eight-year-old kid in wrestling and say, hey, you suck, kid. And then it's just, like, expected. Like, that is... <laughs> like, I did that. I was a heel at NXT, and they had... It was during COVID, so they had, like, hockey boards, glass, and there was, like, a, a dad and a kid, and they both had Adam Cole shirts on. They were booing me. And I look at this eight-year-old kid, and I go, you suck, kid. And then you... You're a piece of trash to the dad, and then just walk away, and it's like... <laughs> This is the greatest. This is the greatest entertainment form of all time. I assume that as you're doing everything else, and you told us in Colorado, like when I'm doing my movie press junkets, it's not like this. It's not like this. there's nothing like the WWE. Whenever you walk out there, and the arena just goes absolutely absurd, and they show that you have actual goosebumps. When you just got back into that, the Cody Crybabies, know your role, chicken nugget, that whole thing. I assume it feels good to get back in there. It's a nice reminder of everything that you are, I assume, in the middle of all, all the shit you have going on in your life. Dude, it's the it's the it's the it's the special place. It's the special thing in my life that I love and I hold on to and I protect because if you think about it, when we were on the show in Colorado, I knew that you know I don't get opportunities like this where we could just hang and chop stuff up and talk about everything from this all the way to over here. But in that, for that world of pro wrestling, where I'm able to do that and get into you are. And as whole dude, yeah. that was great. Oh, great. Uh, arena. Can't do that and we could have kept it going on, no, by the yes, way. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing like that, by the way. Which is which again it goes back to it's why I love it, it's why I go back. And you, you know, the 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 funny thing about the whether it's the Cody Cry Babies or whether it's the the surge of the net doing its thing within the first hour of information dropping, at the end end of the day, there's a few things that happen. My music hits, the place goes bananas. Look, when we went in Birmingham and we did that big face off with Rock and Roman Reigns, you know, that was a long time coming. And if you think back from Birmingham, from San Diego, when I said, should I sit at the head of the table, to 
back when we were on in Colorado saying, hey, boys, we were supposed to do Rock and Roman at WrestleMania 39. Yes. And it never happened. Like, everything right. is strategic. Everything is well thought out. And the there's a story to be told there? There's a story to be told. No. So it was, he basically was just saying. There's another story. So he basically no, I mean, all this was, uh, oh, by the way, but all the key, plan. I feel, is when you're in this position. Because they, they got to get to the moment. Like, The Rock can't just come sure back man, and do it. I mean, he could, like but we goal, still got the, Cody's story to get through. North so. Star goal to me is he basically to just said WWE we got to finish this story in order to jump to the next story. This is our world so, of pro wrestling fans. People who are crazy for no reason. Base, you just hold know. on. Going into WrestleMania, let's cast the net way past this. Bring new people in so they can enjoy the product and keep them here. And in order to do that, Let's keep our eyes on the North Star, but let's be open to how we get there. Long gamer, bud. Bring some open. Let's be open yes. to how we get there. Right. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I like what he said. I like how they, you know, going like this with the storyline because you, for the people who watch wrestling, like watch it. It was getting so predictable like you already know like even like they don't have everything down pat like even with the the um the Rhea Ripley and and Nia Jax and uh Becky Lynch it's too predictable we know Rhea about to beat um Nia Jax and we know um Becky Lynch is about to win the Elimination Chamber so it can be Rhea versus Nia Jax I mean sorry Rhea versus uh um Becky Lynch at WrestleMania like all that is playing that is predictable but I feel like when they do stuff like the Cody Rhodes and the Roman Reigns and the Rock storyline it's like people was on edge all week because we didn't know we couldn't tell like it was like dang like I really want to see the Rock versus Roman because I have been wanting that but like literally all year y'all been giving my hopes up of is he gonna be Cody? Is Cody gonna win the Royal Rumble? He did. Okay, now we're about to get Cody at the Royal Rumble versus Rock. I mean, sorry, the Royal Rumble versus uh, Roman. And it's like, okay, this is your second time winning the Elimination Chamber, and it's your second time at WrestleMania. You have to win. There's no way you're not about to win. So it's like, okay, that's kind of predictable. Let's let's go swerve. Let's do a swerve, like what he was saying. So yeah, um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this. Um, I love wrestling. <laughs> but yeah, that was my reaction to The Rock's interview on the Pat McAfee show. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all.